Hey guys, Youngblood back with you for our third episode of Captain's Log, where we're going to talk about key binding. Uh, just so you know, I'm flying with a keyboard and mouse, like I think the majority of the players out there. I do have a Logitech uh, joystick, but for some reason it just doesn't feel right, and I've read some people saying the same thing. So I don't think it's necessarily a Logitech thing, I think it's just a uh, joystick problem overall. Uh, so I wanted to talk about some of the changes that I've made that's kind of made it easier for me to fly and kept me alive a little bit longer using the keyboard and mouse, and hopefully that'll help you guys as well. So let's go ahead and just jump into it, and we'll talk about some of those changes. So when we're talking about actually remapping your keys and getting your key bindings the way you set up, uh, the way you like it, there's a couple different options that you can do, and ultimately it really just comes down to preference on what you actually prefer. Um, if you go to settings and then key binding and then over to aircraft, there's a couple changes that I made that I really like. Um, the very first one is actually exiting a vehicle. Uh, the default one is going to be E. You hit E to enter, you hit E to exit. The problem is, I don't know why, I guess I'm a really frantic player, but instead of hitting W, sometimes I hit E or you know maybe you reach for R and you accidentally hit E and then you end up bailing out. Uh, not a great thing to have happen, especially when you're flying high above the sky, and it's a good way to lose a dogfight. So I moved mine over to Y. Um, I don't know why I never accidentally hit it, because I hit T all the time to go into third person. Uh, but it's kept me alive long enough where maybe you should uh, try mixing it up. I've seen some people move it over to like zero or like question mark or something totally different that you would actually need to go and find to hit. Uh, any of those are really fine. I just find something that's not going to be E because, well, I've jumped out way too many times. Now, the fire is obviously going to be your left, uh, is going to be your left mouse button. Right button is obviously going to be your optic, um, whether that's a zoom optic or an infrared or thermal. Uh, the other ones that you may want to consider changing would be, for me, uh, I always use, and hopefully I should have up a uh, image now on the screen of a uh, G500. It's what I use. And there's three buttons that I use on the side. Now the back thumb button I always use for reload, uh, and that's what this mouse button for is. So I've got that mapped. I use that on infantry, I use it in vehicles, I use it in the air. It's just easy for me to have and always use. Um, that middle button there is always my push to talk button for when I'm in team speak. Uh, I've got that actually tied to caps lock, so I guess I could technically move that and just start using caps lock, but I like to be able to keep my fingers on the WASD keys. Uh, and then the front mouse button there, I've actually got for pitching up. Uh, you know, when I was talking about turns in the last video, um, somebody actually pointed out that, you know, if I was to map pitching up to my mouse, it would be a lot less movement and it's a lot quicker turn. So I'm actually uh, going to show you guys a quick comparison video at, right after this so you can kind of see the benefit to it. But it's a much smoother turn. Uh, huge props to whoever it was that got it. Now that I'm making the video, I can't remember. So I'll give you a link in the uh, comments. Uh, but I use that on my front mouse button, so when I am doing a turn, it's just a rotate and hit that button, and it's a real sharp, clean turn, which I really, really like. Uh, ultimately, like I said, uh, it's really going to come down to whatever you're comfortable with doing. So try mixing it up a little bit, see what feels right to you, uh, and you know, keep it simple, keep it smooth, and things are going to work out for you. All right, now I know last video I actually showed you a comparison of two different types of turns, uh, but what I wanted to do was actually add in a third. Now it's essentially the same maneuver as the kill turn, the one where you're killing your momentum, uh, swinging your vehicle around and coming back on target, uh, but the big difference is instead of actually using the mouse to pull yourself back onto uh, the target that's attacking you, uh, you're using the uh, button on your mouse that you're rebinded uh, to be pitch up. Uh, here's a three uh, video display. Uh, you can kind of see the differences here. And while the while there's not a huge difference in time, about half a second for the uh, use of the mouse, uh, the big benefit is, is it's much smoother. It's a lot easier to control, and you can really get back on target quickly. So I really encourage you guys to do this. Thanks again for whoever it was that suggested this. And again, I'm sorry, I can't remember who it is right now, but I'll make sure to give you some credit in the uh, comments. I uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch it. Uh, stay tuned. I think our next one's going to be an air-to-ground video. Uh, so, yep, again, let me know if you have any great ideas for key binding or anything else or questions you'd like me to talk about. Uh, take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.